Here is the unique sound design with four layer. Each layer consists of a substrate, Rogus RT580, and also a copper, copper layer with a cross dot with a dimension of L. So for this unique sound, I will vary the L to achieve a full phase change up by using the parameter strip here. I will vary the L from 3 to 5.8 mm. And the solver I use will be frequency domain. And here is the boundary condition that I use unit sound for X and Y. For Z, I use open space at space. And here is the forward boundary condition. And there are there is only one mode for Z min and also Z max. Ah. And here will be the simulation result where this one is the S21 versus the frequency. And then I will convert it to a parametric result at 26 gigahertz. And here shows the result at 26 gigahertz S21. Here shows the operating range of L. And here will be the phase range of the unit cell. Here is the Horn antenna design with one pot, and the solver I use will be time domain. And here will be the S11 parameter result. This one is a cabin horn antenna which is operating from 18 to 26.5, and here shows S parameter with uh, less than negative 20 dB. And here is the radiation pattern. Come to the 3D radiation pattern first. And here will be the 1D radiation pattern. MATLAB is used to calculate the phase distribution for 11 times 11 element. Here is the cooling. And here I'm going to run. And here will be the phase range, and I will tabulate this data in Excel. Here is the tabulated data for the incoming phase calculated using the MATLAB for 11 and 11 <coughs> array. So here is the incoming phase, and in order to design a transmit array, so we need to uh, determine the phase needed uh, by the unit cell to compensate the incoming phase to zero degree. So here is the phase needed by the unit cell, and here is the unit cell dimension that has been determined uh, to design a transmit array. So for example, we need to have a 31.54 degree phase range for the unit cell. So open the CST and here we have a 31.7. So at 4.61 uh, mm, so it gives a phase variation of 31, so which suit our requirement. So for this position, we have a unit cell dimension of 4.6. Here is the transmit uh, complete transmit array antenna. So it consists of a horn antenna and also a transmit array design based on the dimension that I had been determined just now. Um, the solver I use will be time domain solver. And for the simulation result will be S11 parameter. And here is the S11 parameter for the complete transmit array antenna. So there is a operating frequency. And also I have plotted the gain versus the frequency. And here is the radiation pattern. So start with the 3D. And this one is the radiation pattern at 26.5 gigahertz. It should 26 gigahertz. And here is the radiation pattern for the 26 gigahertz. 
And here is the 1D result radiation pattern for 26 gigahertz. For 26.5 gigahertz. Thank you.